What's going on, you guys? We've got an ice fishing box. That's right. We have switched up the Mystery Tackle Box subscription to the ice fishing box because guess what? I live in the icy north and uh, fall bass season is pretty much over because they don't bite much anymore, all right? So it's very challenging to fish for bass right now. Trust me, I'm still trying. And you guys will see some content, some fishing content if I do catch some fish. But in the meantime, I switched up a few of the boxes so I can get some ice gear in preparation for ice season. Now, whether you guys get ice in your region or not is actually irrelevant. I think you're gonna like this. I think it's gonna be entertaining, dare I say fun, to see some of the tackle that we use in ice season. And hey, if you wanna make a trip up to the north and go ice fishing, I mean, maybe this will be helpful. And of course, you can check out some of these brands that offer the ice fishing tackle as well. We're gonna open this box here up in just a second. Before we do, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing. If you like unboxings, reviews, and fishing videos, and you can hang out with us every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern for Burly Fishing Podcast Live. You can chat with me and my buddy Paul as we host that. You can also smash the like on this video and ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. Let's get to this box, shall we? You guys know the drill, first time opening the box and seeing it. I've also never gotten an ice fishing box from MTB, so this is new and fresh to me, but I'm excited about it. First look. Okay, okay. All right, okay, so it looks pretty good. You guys know the drill. We got the Dibble Digest, get out of here. We got two value cards, neat. Okay, so this is the Ice Fishing Pro Box. So it's the Pro Box price, which means it's sub 30 bucks. But here you go, you got all your details there. You can save that for later. Make your own comparisons here. Let's get into it. If you guys aren't familiar with ice fishing, there's a process of walking out onto the ice, bringing along with you a sled full of tiny fishing rods, very short, very tiny rods, wearing lots of warm gear. You got a bucket generally that's full of either your baits and or lures, as well as extra gloves, face shields, and things to keep you warm, and maybe a lunch, right? And probably whiskey. And what we do is we trek out, we sit in the cold, we shiver, we catch tiny fish. I'm just kidding. Sometimes we will actually go out and we will hammer some pike. I guarantee you guys are gonna see some pike footage. Maybe we'll get into some lake trout. I don't know, get into some big fish. Probably get some bass through the ice on accident. Mostly we're fishing for panfish, right? We've got perch, we've got bluegills, we've got crappie. It's typically what we're going after and we want lunch, we want food. So we're catching to eat. So some catch, clean and cooks might also come your way. Why don't you let me know what you want to see with ice fishing season? What would make it more entertaining and valuable content for you to watch? Hit me up in the comments below. Give me some ideas. I'll get after it, all right? So typically what you're doing with your little tiny ultralight rod is you're fishing little tiny jigs, right? You might throw a wax worm on there. You can also tip it with plastics. There's probably some plastics in here we're gonna fish as well, but these are about what you're looking at. So these right here are straight classics and moon jigs. And I wanna show you guys what this looks like. On the back, you can see just some different rigging options. If you're using worms, wax worms, or other plastics, it's gonna kind of look like that. So I'm gonna open this up for you guys. These are super easy to lose, so I'm gonna be very careful. Just kidding, I already dropped one, because I'm a dummy. And typically, I'm gonna store this similar to how I would my flies for trout fishing, but we're gonna have like little plastic containers like that, or we're gonna have like these nice little foam inserted sections here. So you can just stab your jigs into that. So typically I'm gonna have that whoop, scrunching up all my streamers, no big deal. What even is fly fishing? I don't, I don't do that on this channel, <laughs> but I could. So here's our first tiny little jig. Got a little chartreuse on the front side with some silver flake. Backside some orange with those little painted on red eyes. You got, there's your hook. A little tiny hook. That's what you're gonna see is like little, little tiny things, which is why I think this is so interesting. I wasn't into ice fishing until really last year. And now I'm like, I'm all in baby. Cause this is a ton of fun. Here's the other one, little green, little chartreuse too with the red eyes. So same kind of deal. And then this is more of that moon shape. Now line tie on this one's a bit wackadoodle. Um, <laughs> so that's not exactly ideal, but Okay, so we got two little jigs, two little baby jigs there. And sometimes, you know, these things, they come in a questionable, questionable condition. 
this is also by k and &E Stopper Lures, these moon jigs. So honestly, a little hit and miss on that. All right, so here's a moon jig. They're gonna sit more vertical, kind of like that. It also might fall a little bit different when you're jigging it. Rod tip right now is in the same spot, but because of the shape of the jig, it's gonna move a little bit more when I lift and drop like that. Just a little, little different movement, and the two-tone color makes a, a bit of a difference here too. Found another thing. I've gotten the sticker about 10 times from these boxes, so later. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but this is from Frostbite. Now, Frostbite, isn't that, that's AP Bassin's brand, right? Yes, I think. Uh, so we got a 1.125 inch, it's called the Ice Mite. Look at that thing. Let me get it out of the package here in a second. This is what I'm talking about. You can use these little tiny plastics. I have a lot of luck. If I'm trying to eat, oftentimes I'm just using straight wax worms. That's like the classic go-to bait to throw onto a little jig. If you want to be pulling perch and crappie out like nobody's business. But, but, much like using artificial bass lures for bass fishing, you can do that for ice fishing. And it's a lot of fun. So it's something I want to try a little bit harder to do this year as well. Packaging, nice work. It's clamshell packaging to it. Green with green flake. We got like a thicker upper section that's going onto your jig. And then this, look at the action. I'm not even moving. Action on that lower section is great. So we got a little dangle, a little plastic ball at the bottom, and that's gonna give it tons of action on the bottom of your jig. And typically, you guys are familiar with ice fishing, you're gonna sit there, but you can be active. It kind of depends on where the fish are at, but the fun thing about it, Paul and I call it video game fishing because we'll use like a Vexilar fish finder, highly recommend if you're going out, and it plays like a little video game. It's a uh, circular based sonar, and you can tell where the bottom is, and you can tell where the top is, and then you can see the fish kind of moving in and out. So you like find the fish, you find where they're at, you can see your jig going down on the sonar, and then you just play the jig, right? So you're actually just bouncing it, moving it a little bit. You might be a little more aggressive if they're biting more aggressively that day. If it's more of a subtle bite, it's just slow movements or dead stick in it. And you're just trying to put it near the fish to bait them up kind of usually off the bottom or off the cover to come and take that bite. So something like that could really help, and I'm excited about it. Yo, check this out. So here's that frostbite. Look at that tail action. Oh my gosh, dude. I love that. There's so much action on that right there. Look at that. I wouldn't necessarily pair or even not pair these two together. It actually looks kind of good. So if I'm looking for something different, this might be the play. Just look at the action. Oh. All right, so next up, we got a little lip rippers. It does say trout, but on the side there, it also says catches trout, bass, crappie, walleye, blah, 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 blah. So all the good things. And this is a spoon for casting or trolling. It's one fifth of an ounce. Do, 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 do. Get out of this package, please. It's impossible to get out of the package. There we go. Check her out. It's got a nice little like fire tiger color here. Some green, yellow, some red, some flashy flashiness to it. And then it's got like these perforations here, which are gonna help it move, spin, do all sorts of crazy stuff to attract the fishies. And if this is spinning and moving and fluttering like spoons do, it's gonna have this crazy flash and light refraction, which is gonna draw the fish in. Then we got, I do like to throw these every now and then. I use these a bit more often ice fishing than I would in just casual, normal, everyday fishing other seasons. Red hooks. So we got that red treble there as well. Should be definitely interesting. If you guys remember, I got a whole bunch of red trebles. Hang on. These are too big for this spoon, but I also have a bunch of these Vexan trebles with that little glow and the, the light refraction jewel, gem, whatever the heck you want to call it at the top. So I can throw that on one of these too, on a bigger spoon typically. These are, these are pretty huge, but if we're fishing, I don't know, lake trout or something, might use it. Here's that nice flutter spoon. I like this action a lot. It moves a lot when you jig it. So you can see that that because of those holes in the side, 
it's going to move a lot more. It's kind of spinning as it falls. The water's just pushing through there. So I think that looks pretty good. Get you guys a video later if you want to. Hit me up in the comments. Do you want to see the entire ice fishing haul? Like all the gear I figured out last year it was necessary to be successful ice fishing. We'll do one of those breakdowns as well. Just go through what's in the sled. We'll call it that. All right. So the spoon's pretty sweet. Next up, we got the Blitz Blade. I actually have two or three of these already. And I think I got one from MTB from a regular box, which is interesting. But the Blitz Blade... Again, great for the same kind of critters we're going after. Got our bass walleye attracting, all that stuff. And it came disassembled. This was not connected to it. That's okay. We're going to make me, making me put together my own gosh dang baits now. Is that what this is? And there we go. Okay, so Blitz Lure, it's a blade bait, right? You could cast this and use this. You could jig it. You could yo-yo it back to the boat, or you can ice fish with them. Is there a bit bigger than most of the species that we go after? If we're going after perch, crappie, all of that, like crappie, maybe. Perch, bluegill, no way. Bass, possibly, but we're usually sticking to the smaller stuff. This is when you're going big fish hunting, right? So you got this big heavy lead weight at the front, and then we've got the flashy tail section here that's going to move a bit more. Got two treble hooks on it. Trebles look okay, actually. Uh, and it's a blade bait. It's gonna move like a blade bait. It's gonna move pretty good. It's actually a decent amount of stuff in here. I mean, these boxes are only $29.99, so it's not, not bad. All right, so next up, we got a Danielson bait holder snell hook. So it's already got a snelled super light test line on this thing. Uh, no idea what the test is. I'm gonna leave this in the package for today, but look at the size of that hook. Super tiny hook, but something that uh, we, could, we, we, we could find a way to use this. We'll go find a way to use it. All right, next up, ooh, tungsten jigs. Check these babies out. We got some tiny pink tungsten jigs. It's called the Widowmaker. Seem to be well-made jigs, size 14. Ooh, baby boy, those look sick. Tungsten jigs. Tungsten's where it's at, man. You guys think about using tungsten in just regular bass fishing. It's so sensitive, right? In ice fishing, you got super light test line. You're freezing cold. You might be wearing gloves. And you've got a light setup as far as your rod and reel goes. And you got a tiny jig. So you want that sensitivity. All right, you guys. So here we have our first jig. This is that Widowmaker tungsten. Check that out. Notice how jigs like this are going to lay kind of on that angle, right? So it's a little different presentation versus when you see these moon jigs in a second, right? This is really all you're doing. Ice fishing, you're just like, hey, what's up, fish? Ooh, okay. So we got another Lip Rippers plastic here next. This one is in a really cool color. Poison apple color, it's called. Ugh. Staples, guys. Stop using staples hate 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 this one is really cool so it looks like it has more of a almost like a tickle tail right so we've got super bright green front section orange and white on the back and then we got this super skinny tail section look at that I just want to, what's that like mouth harmonica i'm gonna play that mouth harmonica sound right now boing, 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 boing. anyways so this thing right here is the same kind of idea you're gonna rig this up this section to like your jig and then you're gonna go with that continuous movement of the rod to give it tons of action and entice some fishies to come and bite it. Okay, so here's a poison apple. I would not rig it this way. I'm just using the jigs that I had in the box, but maybe a bigger jig or a jig with a longer hook would be better for this one, but still, got some decent action on that tail. Feels like a pretty durable plastic, so it's gonna hold up probably for a few bites, even if you get into some big crappie. It could be a good one. Probably hold up even to a bass. Next up, definitely not pumped about this one. Um, so we've got, just, just check it out. So it's Whipper, little, little tiny jig. These are, again, that k &E Stopper Company. Not like my absolute favorite in the world, but whatever. So we've got little golden black plastics. There's two of them, by the way, not one. They're just sticking to each other like a 
dummy, there we go. Here's a common problem that I run into with these tiny jigs. Like when they're painted, you're gonna end up with this. That line tie is painted over, so you gotta chip that loose. And unfortunately they got paint on the hook tip, which actually makes it a little more dull. Pretty dull. Uh, but this is how you would thread this on. So it goes onto these longer jigs, and then you thread that little tickle tail thing all the way up just like that. Uh, these can definitely work. Like I said, it's just not my favorite company because of quality issues like that that I see a lot. All right, so here's the K&E stopper. Doesn't look too bad. Got that nice little tickle tail to it. Tickle tail for the win. Not my favorite jig in the world, but you know, after scraping all the paint off of it so I could actually thread the line through, it's not bad. I like the color. Good combo. Guys, guess who's back? Check it out. Vexhan. <laughs> Man, this is an MTB exclusive. Uh, luckily, we just did our redemption video with Vexan, and I like them now. I do like them, so I'm interested to see this one. It's got their crystal glow hooks, these guys again, just in a smaller size, and it's a little jigging wrap. So you've got, actually, it's crazy, right? You got a hook here, you got a hook here, you got a treble hook here, which has that glow resin plus the little light refraction crystal on it. And we've got like this pretty slick color to it, right? So we got the blues and blacks down to the green on the bottom. And you'll also notice this tail. So that's gonna help with this movement. What you can do on these, you can do all sorts of stuff. So we can jig it, right? We can rip it, we can move it along. This is gonna help it move in all sorts of crazy directions. You can even just throw it on like a tip up and it'll move around a little bit just in the natural flow and current of the water under the ice. So. Do all sorts of stuff. It's probably the most versatile bait in this box. And it's, I mean, I'm stoked to use it. Okay, this I'm excited to see. So here's our Vexan jig and wrap. So again, you can kind of just jig it. My rod tip is in the same spot. Look at how much it moves. Never seen underwater footage of these before. Again, just kind of getting into ice fishing now. But look, I'm not moving my rod around at all. This thing is just going nuts. That looks awesome. Love that little glow resin there too. I'm sure it's gonna look good in low light. As you can see, I rip up, it goes nose up. You let it drop, it goes nose down. And that little tail is what's pushing it around depending on what direction it's facing. It's gonna swim a lot when you're jigging that. So I think that looks really good in the water. Last thing we got, we got Lunker Hunt. This one's called the Ice Glide, the Icy Glide. It's an eighth of an ounce, it's glow. You guys are gonna see like glow come up a lot with uh, ice fishing. And it just helps it pop a little bit more under that sheet of ice. You're not getting as much light coming down into the water. Uh, if you're fishing deep, it's darker down there already. So having that glow function that sits out in the sun, it's gonna give off a little bit more brightness to it. Oh, actually, I, I think I have one of these. This is pretty sweet, but this is in a white base coat with a glow ability to it, but here you go. So again, you got like a jigging spoon, you got the red treble, you got these little, like little willow leaf blades coming off either side, so it's gonna have tons of flash. It's gonna be spinning and moving around in the water as you move it, jig it naturally. It's gonna do all sorts of crazy stuff, but pretty solid looking bait and one that I definitely wanna use just to vary things up this year. These are our Lunker Hunt, the Icy Glide. Got a little bit of a flutter to it. Let's slow this down for one drop. Yeah, as that drops, you're gonna get a nice flutter from those blades. It's got some good movement, some good action. I like that. I'm very interested to see if we can land something this year on that. Boom! All right, so there's the box. We had these little Snell hooks. Got that Lunker Hunt Icy Glide. The Vexan Jig and Wrap. Slick little spoon there. Got the, uh, what is this, the poison apple plastics. <laughs> there you go. Our first frostbite purchase. We'll see if we like frostbite. Maybe we'll pick up some more of those things. Got the moon jigs, right? Two in one spot now. And then we got the Caney stopper jig and plastics right there. Widowmaker tungsten jigs. And then we got that little blitz blade right there. Boom. Not a bad haul. Everything in the box is somewhere around like that five, six dollar range, four, five, six bucks. Yo, 10 things in there. 
Yeah, not bad at all. So I, I mean, I'm pumped about it. This is gonna help give me some variety this ice fishing season. So I'm excited to go fish it. Uh, I get if you guys are just classic bass fishermen and you don't have ice in your area, I totally get it. But it's kind of like watching guys fish for pike, pulling big fish through the ice. Live vicariously through me. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and you won't regret it. So stay tuned as the ice starts coming in. Hard water season is gonna happen. All right, so hang with us. Thanks for watching today. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And if you like the content, if you like unboxings, checking out some underwater footage, fishing, all that stuff, we got it here on the channel. We'll have more reviews coming up over the holiday season as well as buying guides. So stay tuned for that. Please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. I'll see you guys out on the water.